I asked my sisters questions that guys are too afraid to ask. Would you eat out a guy's ass? Do girls watch porn? The size matter. This is just so weird. I'm to have to my brother. <laughs> I'm a single guy, and my experience with girls is pretty low. I'm just being honest. So, today, we're gonna ask girls questions that guys are too afraid to ask girls. But asking one girl just isn't enough. Since all girls are different, I'm gonna ask one girl who has very little experience with guys, pretty much no experience with guys, actually. And then I'm gonna ask somebody who has a bit more experience with guys. So we're gonna compare their answers and see if they're similar. Hi, I'm Claudia. <laughs> I have like a moderate amount of experience. I had a boyfriend for a while, so yeah. I'm Kennedy. I don't have a lot of experience with guys because I don't want to have a lot of experience with guys. Are you boys ready? I'm actually really <laughs> excited because I've never done anything like this. I'm you should be really opinion. nervous. These are serious questions. Question number one. Why is your chest hair showing? Put it away. Look at the wax. It's like such a little bit of hair that it almost looks like just dirt. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, <laughs> Question number one. The size matter. For a boy? Yeah. <laughs> you can take this one away. <laughs> no. Depends on the motion in the ocean. By the ocean, she means the, the vagina. vagina. What? <laughs> motion off the vagina. Basically, I mean, if, you're, if you have a micro penis, yeah, that's gonna matter because no one's gonna As long as it's big enough to feel that there's something in there. Yeah, but no one needs a horse cock. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that word. Are nipple rings on guys okay? Sure, I've never seen them on a guy before. I haven't either, but I guess if someone had one and I like liked them and then all of a sudden it was exposed to me, I'd just be like, oh. Would you yank on it? Ew. No. Ew. And I'd stick my finger in it. Oh my okay, what about penis rings? I don't even know what that is. I don't know how that works, but like a pierce now. Yeah. If you pierce the head. Why would anyone do that? If Ask Polly D. If you you know the same what? where the back of her throat gets stuck with a guy's penis <gasps> ring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My oh my god. god. So that's gonna be a no-go for me. How would a guy get a girl to notice them? Be normal, come up, say hey, what's up, let's go. Text them, take a hint. If a girl is interested, you will know. Yeah, you will. And if a girl texts you first, she most likely is interested. <laughs> I don't think any girl texts a guy first. No. Sometimes. So you message first sometimes? Yeah, if I'm interested in someone, I'm not going to sit around and wait for them to talk to me. You reach out to a guy and say hi first, and then they go and reciprocate, and then they're probably not interested. But or they're sure. just stupid. Why do some girls play hard to get? Uh, there's a game. They probably are hard to get. Everybody, <laughs> everybody plays the game. God plays if the a game. girl likes you, she won't necessarily play hard to get. Do you have to play the game? Everybody knows what the game is. Like, I can't explain <laughs> it, but it's like an unsaid thing, and you just know. <laughs> And if someone else is doing it, you can't just be like, yeah, I'm gonna be the mature one and not play. No, you need to play along if you wanna win. That's what people want. People like a chase. Yeah, people like I don't think not being able to get like what they want. I don't think any young person likes just, let's be blunt and get to it. Do you wanna go out on a date? Like, okay. <laughs> the whole fun part of it is not knowing if somebody likes you back. Uh, I'm Ow. gonna be single forever. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Would you do a threesome if your boyfriend wanted to? If it was with another girl, yes. With, so another, with girl. another guy, no. They might end up like punching the other girl in the face. <laughs> 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 I'd probably be more interested in the other girl, and then the guy would just sit there and watch. <laughs> no, I don't think I could do that because I, I could I get definitely jealous. not two guys. That is disgusting. Eiffel so Tower. Know. I'm not into threesomes. Rotisserie that? chicken. Okay. Ew. That sounds so much worse than Eiffel Tower. Pretty much the same thing. I'd literally rather die than pleasure two men at once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are muscles important? But I like the in between. I don't really like the bodybuilder yeah. look, but if you're no, like not at all. skinnier than me and can't pick up. Yeah, I don't like when their arms are skinny as mine. I want to feel like I'm being. Yeah, like I wanted to. Have you seen Timothy Chalamet's arms? They're yes. pretty small. Well, I'm kind of getting over <laughs> that face. Oh, she's moving on. I just think there's like a solid in between where they're like fit, in shape, they work out somewhat yeah. regularly. I just I'm like them to have a, a build of a male being, not like yeah. my arms. Your arms are pretty Yeah, big. I feel like if I wanted someone to look like me, I would date a girl. <laughs> Does the guy need to work out? I would prefer it's some sort of physical activity. Do. If you're sitting home playing video games, like all day. <laughs> I don't want it. It's just not as attractive. So you wouldn't date a gamer? Well, okay, if he was a rich gamer streaming on Twitch, that's a different story. <laughs> well, it's attractive when somebody's very driven. Going to the gym is something that like, oh, so they have like motivation and like. Yeah. Do girls like cologne? Sometimes. I like like a subtle cologne. Like, yeah, like you get clean, close to them, you can smell it. They I think what we said it. this the other day, it's most attractive when a man smells like laundry detergent. <laughs> <laughs> I like when a guy smells like the body wash he uses, like a faint smell. I don't like talking like, about boys. A faint smell. <laughs> <laughs> but like, cologne is nice, but like if it's if it's a 
nasty cologne and then he's wearing just so smell, much of it. Like you bake yeah. and like you wash your clothes. If you smell, smell clean. Like BO, like you went, yeah. you sprayed Axe on your BO. Yes. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. Literally, so shower good. every day and put on deodorant. And nothing grosses me out more than like giving someone a hug. Oh, you smell their I thought you were gonna say giving someone a head. <laughs> <laughs> Not even smell the same nasty That too. That too. Do girls watch porn? Duh. Yes. What? I watch porn without men. <laughs> How often? Girl on girl porn. It depends on my mood. <laughs> you watch girl on girl porn by yourself? Yeah. I'm not even lesbian. I think men in porn ruin it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> you can ask any girl that has watched porn. She probably watches girl on girl porn or just like a girl by herself. Because yeah, I watching a I man. Did. No clue. First of all, nothing sickens me more than watching a girl. Give a guy a blowjob. Same! Same! <laughs> I can't help when they start making the gurgling noises. <laughs> this is so unrealistic. She's doing it for the money and that's it. Like, I literally saw a TikTok that had a million likes on it. Mm. And it was a girl saying that she watches a girl on girl porn. And she's a straight girl. Not, no, no, no. Yeah, that's yeah. news to me. Would you still date a guy if he's not good with your family? No. But you really like him? No. For me, absolutely not. <laughs> you have to wait a while. <laughs> you look like you lagged out hard. <laughs> no, if someone is not good with my, my family, is like the, probably like one of the biggest parts of my life. So if not good with my family, you can get the f out. Woo! Hear that, boy? I, I, I really don't like most men, so that's why she's single. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best quality a guy can have? Can make you laugh. Yeah, and personal. Life. And respect sex all girls, not just girls he's attracted to. Respect other humans in general. Showers daily. Pretty easy, pretty uh, Knows how to please a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Should a guy shave his balls? Yes. Yeah, Who wants to put hairy <laughs> balls in their head? What's just What about his asshole? Yes. Really? You know how hard that is? <laughs> <laughs> do you know, we do the same thing, buddy. Bend your ass over and just rub your cheeks. That's right. Cheek Guys have way more hair. I don't know. I mean, if you're going to do like butt play, butt play, I'd rather die than stick my finger Nobody in wants to dig through a floor. <laughs> <before. laughs> I feel like if it's if you prefer something on someone else, then you should have that same thing on yourself, unless they tell you otherwise. If you're like, yeah, I like when my girl's completely clean shaven, then do the fing same, unless she tells you, hey, buddy, I want you to have an entire fing forest down there. <laughs> In the 80s, that was cool. It's not the 80s that. anymore. It's not cool. <laughs> Probably get tangled together and shit. Ew, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> How do you feel about facial hair? I think, like, a slight facial hair, like, yeah. Yeah, same. I'm not about a big old beard. No. Beards are trending right smell now. Bad. A bald face? Like, a bald face? Baby face is like okay on some people. I, I think I'd probably prefer clean shaven. A little shout out is nice. It really depends on the person. Some men some people look really bad, like yeah. with a shaved face. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I look like <laughs> it's like mole rat or something. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call me the a weasel? Yeah, weasel. Weasel with a bone. It's like a sphinx. A sphinx. Sphinx. The, the sphinx. It's a bald cat. Like, the cats with like big bald ball sacks. <laughs> Does the guy need to have money? No. You don't need to have money, like in terms of being rich, but you don't make any money for yourself. I'm not really. Yeah, it, it's to honestly that. more about how driven you are and how yeah. motivated you are in life. Because if you like just accept the fact that you don't make a lot of money, you're not doing anything to change that. That's not an attractive quality to have. You yeah. should make your own money. You shouldn't rely on one another. That no one should be problem. responsible to pay for anyone. If you got married to somebody, would you get a prenup? Yeah, I don't even <laughs> know if I will get married, but um, I'm never having a joint bank account. Would you be okay with having a sugar daddy? No. Personally, I would not want one, but I don't see anything wrong with any girls that do have I downloaded an app once when I was in high school and I had no money and I swiped on three 40-year-old men and then I had to delete it and I felt so disgusted. Is that legal? You were in high school. I was 18. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I personally love the feeling of making my own money. I like to have it on my own, know that I worked for it. I just don't want a man to feel like he has any sort of control over me, ever. Do you care about the job that the guy has? Yes. Let's say they have a lot of money, but they're like... A drug lord? Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I don't want to date someone who's doing something no. illegal. Yeah, I don't want to get into danger. Yeah, because like, I need like, to bring them into it somehow. Well, not illegal, but do you care about their job? Have a job that is kind of like equivalent on the money scale to what I have. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. these questions are just hard for me to answer because I can't ever picture myself in a relationship with a man. <laughs> Okay, if the guy gave his mom more attention than you, would you still date him? No. no that's weird. Respect your mom, yeah, but like, more Respect attention. her, love her, hang out with her, whatever, but if you're like spending more time with your mom as opposed to the girl that you're in a romantic it's relationship with, like something's more So attention. if you guys are hanging out and he has to leave because his mom texted him, that's an instant. 
What are you doing, <laughs> what are you doing team? <laughs> there comes a time when you are old enough that your mom is just your mom. <laughs> what does that mean? What's your biggest turn off? Everything that a man does. <laughs> the way he sounds, the way he looks, the way he no, smells. No, you hear that, boys? You got no chance. It really, no chance. it really takes me so much to be attracted to a man that when it happens, I'm just like, I just become obsessed. With <laughs> if it's a, an immediate thing, it's probably smelling bad, but if it's something that yeah. I've like, someone that I've been talking to or something, all those toxic traits are a huge turn. No, for me, it's literally smells. I have a very sensitive nose. <laughs> and he's like a dog. If you have <laughs> bad breath is number one for me. I could never be attracted to, date, kiss, do anything with somebody who has bad breath. Okay, what's the first thing you notice physically in a guy? Their His mouth. mouth, yeah. Their lips. Oh. That's why I notice on everyone. I stare at people's mouths. Like that and like their eyes. Like they have like light, like really light bright blue eyes. They mesmerize me. And hair, hair. So they have like That's really what I on crusty, everyone. like sh hair. You don't like it. Crusty. Who has crusty hair? Like frizzy. What's wrong with frizzy I hair? Like <laughs> Wait. So would you date a bald guy? I like a good head of hair. I like something I can grab onto. What height would you not date? Anyone anything below six foot. He didn't say that. Not someone that was 5'10", but. Yeah, I probably need someone 5'10 and up. Anything above six foot is really attractive. It's just something about like them being huge and you being tiny. Is that like a tree that you can climb? Yeah, I want someone who's yeah. like 7'10". <laughs> Wait, you said Him and Maddie in Euphoria. 7'10"? 7'10"? Like, 7'10"? One of those basketball players that like, that doesn't even exist. Fuck, that's like gigantic. I'm kidding! 6'2". 6'2 to 6'4". I like breaking my also, neck. Also, I, I feel like, like if they were too tall because you're like relatively short, it'd be weird. But your head would be at like their waist. That's fine, it's convenient. <laughs> oh, waiting for that. Is it okay if guys fart around you? If we're like together, yeah. But if, if we're if close we enough met and you fart yeah. and you, you know what? <laughs> like, On the first day, they just let it out. Me. It's like, it's a nice long one. If you're with someone and they fart and they don't say anything and they're just like, Sitting there like, and then they're just like, what's this? Like, what I'm saying, like, I'm sorry, I just farted. To me, it's less awkward if something like gross happens like that, or if somebody farts accidentally, just be like, oh, shit, I just it's farted. really attractive when somebody like does something that could be awkward, but then they play it off in a way that makes you be like, oh, they're just like human, and they yeah, everybody it farts like yeah. Like, when is the right time to start farting? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get disgusted by like anyone who farts around me, so I would say like go in another room and do it. I don't want to smell your. Essence. Yeah, but like how far into the relationship? <laughs> you know, I've never been in a relationship. I think once you start dating, and never, like, always hold a man. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you start having like sleepovers and stuff, you're gonna have to fart. Like, I would still hold a man. Well, you're or a I'd go into a different you room. You can get. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're a porter. Like, what? Are you not? Okay, if we're just like watching a movie, like you can easily just go to the bathroom, like yeah. Get it over with, but once in a while, I think it's funny. Do tattoos make guys more attractive? Yes. How many? Like full body? I like or... thigh tattoos. I think, I like I think arm tattoos, tattoos are so much. Would you eat out a guy's ass? Absolutely not. No. But it was really clean. I would rather die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I will never know in the moment. Like, I was gonna say, anything can happen when you're like yeah. in the moment and you're both like what into if it. Was it. Bleached? If he asked me when we were just like sitting down watching a movie, I'd be like, <laughs> no. Just casually. Netflix and eat ass. Hey, what do you want to watch tonight? By the way, will no, you eat my ass? <laughs> <laughs> What's the most attractive thing a guy can wear? Like, whatever he looks good in. I think it's attractive when a guy's wearing like a comfortable outfit, like sweatpants and a t-shirt. Oh, I think it's so attractive when guys wear um gray hoodies. What's something a guy can do to instantly be more attractive to you? You already answer this. Just be funny. Don't be f***ing awkward. I am awkward enough. How many bodies is too many for a guy? I don't care. Yeah, don't either. Like 300. 300? I really don't care as long as he doesn't have any STDs and he... As long, yeah, as long as you're clean and you're not like sleeping around while I'm with yeah. you. Do girls like guys with fat asses? I wouldn't say a fat ass. <laughs> But like a cute a big butt. butt. Sure. I don't know. I don't. I don't care. I honestly don't care about a man's butt. I've never thought about a man's butt before. Yeah, can be Except for when I had a teacher who had a nice butt, and everyone would talk about him. What's a good opening DM to get your attention? Don't something that's not romantic <laughs> or flirtatious. Don't. Yeah, like say something witty. Yeah, I just don't like when boys approach me with the intent of like flirting with me. Like if you can get my attention in some way that's like different you have to earn that. Says, I just don't like DMs. Me neither. I would rather just be the first one to DM someone. Is it okay to have sex on the first date? That's what's your then yeah, go ahead. No, who gives a fuck? Would you give a guy a ball koozie? Yeah. No. For his birthday? No. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had balls, I would do that. How will a guy know when you like them? You just know. It'll be obvious. Yeah, she will make it obvious, I promise. She'll, she'll answer wondering. your messages, she'll reach out to you, she'll want to hang out. She'll if girls want to hang out, they probably don't like you. 
She'll text you first and she'll text you about things that like just More to start conversation. More interesting than just like, hey, how are you? What's up? Yeah, she, we won't just have small talk. Don't just write and be like, hey, what's up? Like, how's it going? Like, say something yeah. worth talking about. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, don't text them. Don't be a sh texter. It's so unattractive. Nobody wants to answer the fucking question, how are you? Like, I'm bad every day of my life. <laughs> How would you want a guy to show you that he likes you? Giving gifts or no, you know, I do not want him to see gifts. Making an effort to know about my life and ask me things that like and be genuinely interested in what I have to say. Yeah, and just making gonna, an effort to like, hang out with you. Nothing's worse than talking to a guy and all they do is talk about themselves. Talk about themselves yeah. or complain about their own lives. If you're not happy with your life, do something about it. Fix it, but don't come and whine to me because it's unattractive. How do you tell a guy you don't like them? Just ignore them. Mm, I just let's make it obvious when I don't. Let's be friends. I just, let's be friends. I just talk to them like I would talk to a friend. I don't say anything remotely flirtatious. Would you call a guy daddy? Yeah. <laughs> if I was with them and then we're like no. in the bedroom or something, I don't know. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't do that. I just don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't like it. Would you date a guy that's weaker than you physically? No. No. Who the is gonna open all my jars? <laughs> Who <laughs> should make the first move? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, but I kind of like making the first move. I like I think, I think the girl dominant. I think Would you prefer a guy who's submissive or dominant? Neither. Well, if you had to choose one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of both. You have to choose one. No, I don't want to choose one. <laughs> That's the question. I don't, I don't have to choose one. Submissive or And I said dominant. both. How can you be both? Dominant sometimes, submissive sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I want to be the dominant one, sometimes I want to be dominated. This so is the last one. Would you date someone with a micro penis? If so, would you get a sex toy? I absolutely would date someone with a micro penis. I wouldn't. Actually, if you have a micro penis, and you'd probably be better at pleasing a woman because you yeah. know you have to find other ways to do it. A man's penis is not the only way to please a woman. It's probably it's actually it's the, the least desirable. Yeah. It's like the worst <laughs> way. Because honestly, it's just have sex with a girl. The least desirable Stop having sex with men. No, it's not the least desirable. You heard it, man. Your penis doesn't matter. You don't need it. Can we have a better outro, please? <laughs> um, these are just our opinions. Don't listen to us. We don't know anything. Yeah, I've never even been in a relationship. Um, <laughs> so I really don't know shit. You but, know why? And for a 23 year old, I'm pretty inexperienced. Basically, just if like you're in a date either of us. <laughs> this is what we like because basically the answer is don't. Kennedy don't doesn't like me. guys don't unless, in public. Don't unless you don't flirt with her <laughs> and you get lucky that she actually messages you first. Claudia, you have to be really good at farting. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! People are gonna think I'm so nasty. And if you're a girl that somehow managed to get to the end of this video. <laughs> Ellen show. <laughs> 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 and he's casually talking, just like, we talked so disgusting.